just moved to Southern California from Tennessee two weeks ago, and I've had so much. Hello, my name is Liesel. Go ahead and watch the original creator's video to get an idea of all the questions that she asked locals. Um, she basically moved here from Tennessee and she had a couple questions about California and I am from here. I was born in Orange County, lived in the San Joaquin Valley, for, you know, grew up in there and I've been living in the Bay Area for the last 20 years. So I know California pretty well. Uh, first question she asked is about speeding tickets. Like, is that a thing out here? Generally, you want to go with the flow of traffic. If traffic is going fast, you want to go fast as well. People get upset if you go slow and if you're holding people up. Um, it's kind of expected to go five over the limit. Um, like if the speed limit is 65, you're expected to go 70. And the only time you should not go over the speed limit is at a school zone. Um, but don't be the only speed demon on the road because they will give you a ticket. <laughs> you gotta be in traffic with a bunch of people. If everybody's decides to go 80, you gotta go 80 as well. Otherwise, people are gonna get pissed. Um, the second question is saying the before major roads, like the I-5, and I guess in the Bay Area it would be the 580 or the 880. Um, that, might, that might be an LA thing because people in the Bay Area don't say the, before the major highways. And um, she also asked if, it, if we do it for roads too. I don't think they do it for roads unless it's in the name of the road. But um, I believe that's a, that's a LA thing. Maybe um, Central Valley, like Fresno and stuff. I believe they say the I-5 as well. Um, third thing, not pronouncing the T. I thought this was interesting because someone who wasn't from California noticed that I didn't pronounce the T in my words. And I was like, oh, I didn't notice that. And so then I started pronouncing my T's. And then once I started pronouncing my T's, people thought I was weird. And I've gotten so used to pronouncing my T's. And um, I also try to I went through a phase where I tried to enunciate my words, like say words clearly. But what I do notice is people prefer kind of a slurred speech. Not slurs, but you know, like you're just lazy with, I noticed that people are lazy with the way they talk. Like they don't pronounce their T's. And I can't understand people when they're slurring their speech. Um, and I used to, you know, try to match energy and I just feel like people couldn't understand me when I was talking either. So, um, people are going to say something either way. People are going to say that they can't understand you and people are going to call you out if you enunciate your words. So just do whatever feels comfortable. I have to keep tapping my phone because the screen is going dark every five seconds. Um, her fourth question is... Are there no bugs? Yes, there are bugs. It depends on the season and where you're at. I noticed there are more bugs in the summertime than any other time during the sea, during the year. Um, if you're on the coast, um, I don't think there's too many bugs. If you're more inland, like especially around farm area or in the woods, you'll see a lot of bugs like ladybugs and stuff like that. Um, I pers in, in my current area, I see a lot of fruit flies and mosquitoes and there it's, it's, there's bugs everywhere and ants too. The, the ants come out in the summertime as well. 
And the last question, <laughs> she said, is it a rumor that it sucks here? Or who started that rumor? I believe was what she was asking. And it is a rumor. Um, California is very expensive to live in. And I feel like that's a rumor that the locals created. I also have a theory about Oakland as well. Um, although Oakland has high crime and um, people always talk about the earthquakes and stuff, um, Oakland has the best weather that I have experienced living in California. It is never too hot. It's never too cold. Like just was it last week or the week before? during that, that heat wave in California, the hottest day was like 82 degrees. I grew up in triple digit weather. That, and so this, I don't know. I, I, I almost feel like people commit crimes and, you know, make Oakland seem bad and create this, they basically shit in Oakland and on Oakland and create all these problems for us because if you're able to look past it, we have like the best weather. Our weather is better than San Francisco. San Francisco is always cloudy and rainy and Oakland is always sunny. I always call Oakland the sunny side of the bay because the, there's been multiple times I'll, I'll, I usually work like in the Soma district and sometimes like if I'm on the Bay Bridge coming home from the city to Oakland. I look behind me, San Francisco is cloudy and foggy. Look across the bridge, it's sunny. I know it's beautiful and the weather's nice out there. And when I first moved to the Bay Area, I noticed that a lot of locals always talk about earthquakes and stuff. And we do have earthquakes, but once you get used to it, it's really not that bad. I mean, it just feels like your whole house is shaking and that's it. It's scary at first, like the first couple of times, but then you get used to it. And sometimes you don't even notice it. Like there has been a few times where I've experienced an earthquake and I just stayed in bed <laughs> because I've been so desensitized. And um, not too far from where I live is like one of the biggest was was where one of the biggest earthquakes happened so and you know I feel like people in California are pretty nice um but it's fake nice <laughs> it's fake nice um it's definitely not like New York um it's like that saying, people from New York aren't nice, but they're kind. It's the opposite out here. People are nice, but they're not kind. Um, like in the Bay Area, people are hella nice out here, but they'll, they'll, they'll scam you if you're not paying attention. <laughs> and if you give them the opportunity. Um, but yeah, I feel like, um, oh, uh, California gets misunderstood a lot, um, and I also noticed that sometimes tourists aren't nice, and like they're just kind of mean. I don't, I don't get it. But, anyways, um, th that's all the questions that she had, <laughs> and I hope this is helpful. Um, yeah, California is great. Oakland, if you're able to look past the crime and stuff, it's a beautiful city. There's a lot of hid hidden gems despite the crime and the, um, all that stuff. It's just a facade to keep the outsiders away, but <sighs> that's all I have. Have a good one. Bye.